Hello, welcome to Paul Reviews Everything. Today we're reviewing my Ruger GP100 357 revolver and why I chose it. So first of all, it comes in this nice case. At least it did about 15 years ago when I bought it. it comes with your manual. It doesn't come with the bullets. This is the way I store it. And before you handle any arms, make sure you unload it. So if I just hit this little switch here, it pops out. And there's some live rounds in there. Hit this little button over here in the front. This side over here. Push that in, and they all fall out. Can you make sure that it is unloaded completely? Spin it. Take a good look. It is unloaded. Now you can play with it like a crazy person. I had this done for about 15 years, and I've uh, actually used it when I used to work for Garda, which is an armored guard uh, truck company. You know, it was delivered like a Brinks. And I chose this thing before I worked for them. It's just this is going to be my home protection, my emergency end of days gun. And it's nice because it carries, it'll hold 357 rounds or 38s. And I think this is a 38. Yeah, these are 38s. And they say you should shoot with what you're best at shooting with. And I realized I was a much better shot, uh, shot with a 38 versus a 357. <clears throat> but it's still nice to have. The ability to shoot 357 considerably more strong. Now, the reason why I chose a revolver over an automatic was because I had it planned on keeping it in my house for years and years and years and not using it um, for like work or whatever. And I wasn't planning on being like this avid uh, marksman or, sh or somebody that's going to go to the range on a regular basis. Even though I've been to the range plenty of times with it, but it wasn't going to be like my hobby. It's just going to be my protection. Just in case. Like insurance. You don't want it, but you, if you have to have it, you got, you're glad you, you got one. So, I didn't want to have to maintain it, clean it out, and have the slides <clears throat> that could potentially get jammed, and you get oil, and you got to take it apart. Because I might forget how to put it back together again. Or I just didn't want to do the, the maintenance. And uh, this gun... <clears throat> It's basically, basically maintenance free. I can leave this thing in here for 20 years, take it out, and start shooting it, no problem. It's the same model they've been making forever. They still make the same exact model. And it uh, just it's a workhorse. It works really well. And when I was working at Garda, um, I was trained, I used my own gun, and we went to this great training, and we got like, thousands of rounds to, to train with. And it was a really, really good shot. The gun, the gun performs flawlessly. I compared it with the three, the, the, the Smith and Wesson 357s that they provided. This gun, actually, when I went to go buy the gun, I even go back for it. When I went to go buy the gun, I was going to buy the Smith and Wesson 357. So I looked at it in the glass. And I said, "Oh, let me see that one." Even though this Ruger looked better, I uh, went to go check it out. So I pulled out the Smith & Wesson, and I pulled out this one as well from the gun store. And this one, it just felt so solid. I mean, it doesn't shake. You hear no, a really tiny little rattle, but the, and it has a really good balance to it. You know what I'm talking about? I will spin it, but that's not appropriate. Um, so I like the way this one felt. And looked better, but it was basically the way it felt. It just felt solid in my hand, like a piece of iron. So I went with this gun, and when I was at the range, I shot through the Swiss and Wesson, and this one, everybody loved this gun. Everybody at the, everybody I was in training was in awe. They loved it. And even though I was never a cop, and I was never in the military, which a lot of the guys, actually everybody else was either ex-military or ex-cop, and I was the only one that was not. I was the best shot. I was the fastest, and I was the most accurate. And they're using this gun here. So, I'm not sure if that's so much the gun or me, <laughs> but that's why. 
So I felt that this thing is a, just it was a quality gun, and I love it. I still do. And I don't like things very long, but this one I really do. The only gripe I have it about this gun is if you see the very end here, the sight. I know you can change this without a big deal. Well, it's actually black. It comes black. I actually put a mark on the end. What I think just some like white out or something. Because when I was trying to aim, it was hard to see. It's hard to line that up. There you go. With that dot on there, you can see it really well. And it made a big difference. Now I know you can change it, but I was always on a budget. Now, if I was a cop, I would definitely get an automatic because that is basically, I mean, you know, it's like a lethal weapon. You'd be shooting all day, every day, shooting bad guys. You need to have something you could change the ammo quickly. Six shots, you can use that up really fast, and then you got to go to the pin butt of reloading it, which takes it a second. I mean, if you got your reload, like this. Man, I haven't even done this in so long, I forgot how to do it. You stick it in there somehow, line it up, and then what do you do? I don't remember how to release it. Oh, I think you twist it somehow. See, this is this would not be a good thing if you're like in a gunfight. And there you go, six in a six in the chamber. And I'm sure with practice you can do it pretty quick, but a mag magazine will definitely be quicker. Okay, and with my gear, I have two of those. Okay, well, that's pretty much the reason. I think I covered everything, the reason why I liked it. It's easy to maintain, which is like no maintenance at all. You can shoot this thing all day and just barely clean it every now and again. There's no taking it apart and putting it back together. And you don't have to remember. It's so simple. You don't have to remember how to use it. There is no safety on it. Just pull the trigger. It's good to go. It just works every time. So, that's why I like it. Well, thanks for watching. Paul reviews everything. If you have any questions, uh, put a question in the you know comment box and I'll try to get back to you because I'm sure I probably forgot something. Um, but thanks for watching. And put subscribe, please. I usually don't like to beg people to subscribe to my page, but now uh, YouTube has changed their policy and I need like a thousand subscribers to get monetized. And that's important. So, thanks for watching again. Paul reviews everything.